Hi YouTube, my name is Danica and today I have a book haul for you. I don't do a lot of book hauls because I don't generally buy a lot of books, but lately I got a check from Amazon for advertising on the Lesbury. After like a year I've gotten $100 from Amazon and what better use of that money than to buy a bunch of books. So I have a haul for you. First I'll show you some of the books that I got for review and some of the random books I bought and then my big graphic novel haul. So here's a couple of the books I have gotten lately for review. First I got a copy of Sinister Wisdom, which is a lesbian literary journal. I have read two of the other books that this person sent me for review that were published by the same press, and they were both really great, so I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. And then I got a graphic novel for review on Loving Women by Diane Obamswan. And this should be a really quick read. It's just some short stories in graphic novel form, all in this kind of comic form, about being a lesbian, about coming out. And when I got this, I kind of accidentally sat down and read the first story already and then had to stop myself so I could get back to the book I was reading. And I liked it so far. The last book I got for review is The Whip by Karen Kondazian. And this has a very similar premise to a book I read last month which was called The Rebellion of Miss Lucy Ann Lobdell. Both of these are fictionalized accounts of true stories of women who cross-dressed or dressed as men in the 1800s in America. So I had a lot of conflicting feelings about that book. We'll see how I like this one. I'm not sure how much lesbian content this is going to have, but I'm still interested to give it a try. So two of the random books I bought for myself, Jonestown and Other Madness by Pat Parker. I read another book that talked about Pat Parker's poetry and said tons of great things. This is another black lesbian poet who was writing in the 70s, I believe, 70s, 80s. And in the book I was reading, they were talking about how she's sort of been overshadowed by Audre Lorde, but that her poetry was kind of just as powerful and popular at the time, so I'm really excited to take a look at her poems for myself. And the last non-graphic novel I got for myself was The Love of Good Women by Isabel Miller. I read Patience and Sarah by Isabel Miller, which is a historical lesbian novel, and I loved that one. So I'm hoping that this one is just as good. And then my graphic novels. I completed my Sailor Moon collection with Volumes 4 and 11. I don't know why those were the only ones I don't have. I got them kind of randomly, but I am super excited to read these. I loved the anime, and I've read the first couple, but I didn't have Volume 4. Now I think I'm going to go back, read it from the beginning, read the whole thing, and since the new kind of reboot of the anime is supposed to come out, in August or something, it'll be good for me to be able to read the manga. It was so great. It used to be that to get the English copy of the manga, it was like $200 a piece, so having these republished in English and being able to just buy them for a reasonable amount of money is amazing. And then I completed another graphic novel series, which is my Buffy Season 8 collection. I was missing volumes 6 and 7, which is Twilight and Retreat. And now I have those finished. I'm pretty sure I've read both of these. I have, but I didn't own them. Which means that I can move on to Buffy Season 9. I've got volumes 1, 2, 3, and 4. And I haven't read any of these, so that'll be great. And finally, I got the last copy I didn't have of Unwritten. I love this graphic novel series. If you haven't tried Unwritten, definitely do. It is a book lover's book. It is all about books and storytelling and the nature of storytelling and the artwork is beautiful. They do such interesting things with the pages. One of them will be like a choose your own adventure for an issue and then it'll, you know, be talking about the writing of Moby Dick for an issue and then go back to the main story and you never know what's going to happen. I love this series and I can't wait to get up to date with it. So that was my graphic novel and other books haul. Let me know if you've read any of these, if you're interested in any of them, and thanks for watching. Bye!
Do you see my shirt? Do you see it? I'm wearing Sailor Moon shirt right now. Do you see it? 